Hello everyone and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm excited to share this farmhouse with you. I'm going to be using it in my own gameplay and it's my first custom content build for you. Alright, so I do want you to take a look at the inspiration for this build. This is the original photo that I saw and really liked. And this is the floor plan for that version. And then this is what I really looked at. I found this picture later and decided to do it a little more like that version. So a little more modern looking. I do want to say floor plan wise, I follow it to an extent. The what I'm going to call like this bonus back area is just a bonus room in this build. It is not like that the floor plan showed where it was a like mother-in-law suite or, you know, extra space like the, or living space. What I am planning on doing with it in my game is making it into a business for the farm. Now, I know you're thinking, you're going to put a farm on this lot? No. I built it on this size lot so that anyone could use it on, you know, this size lot or bigger. I know a lot of people have said they just want a house. They don't necessarily want the farm. So I wanted to build farmhouse without a farm. So I also liked the idea of keeping it on a smaller lot so that somebody who doesn't want to actually build the farm has that option. They can just, you know, have maybe a garden space or use the bonus area as like a woodworking space. Something like that would be fun. I did not actually put anything in that back bonus space. I also am not decorating the upstairs. It is floor planned for this build, but it's not decorated. And part of that is this is already an hour long video without that. It took me forever just to do the shell. Now, good news. As I said, this is going to be a custom content build. Um, hopefully I got together everything that I put in custom wise in the description below. I may be missing some things. I was really hoping to use the better build by mod to create a custom content report. However, that did not work well for me. I, I can't get it to work. So if anyone has any tips on how I might be able to get that working, or maybe why it's not working, let me know in the comments below because I couldn't find any information on it. But, you know, hopefully, I think I'm going to do more custom content builds. I'm going to limit it to maybe one a month, but maybe one or two a month. We'll see. But I am going to probably do smaller builds with it. Just because it is a lot to keep track of. The good news is I used quite a bit from one CC creator. So that hopefully will help. And a lot of it you can get right on CurseForge. So again, a little bit easier that way as well. So... The other thing that I want to share with you is you will see that I go through and put windows and doors and all this wonderful stuff in this build. And I am putting this up on the gallery as a complete shell that is only game content. So no decorations done. The floor plan, I might have tweaked a little bit in my version of the build, but everything should be very similar to what 
the custom content build is floor plan wise. All right. So one thing I absolutely loved about this build was the screened in patio area. I always put them right on the outside of my homes. So it's like, you know, it's kind of like where that bump out is. And so that would be the screen porch, not the part that is. And I really liked that idea. I thought that was kind of cool. So I went ahead and did that. That was that was part of the reason I chose this floor plan. Um, and I, I think it, it's just different. And I'm hoping it's fun to play in since I will be playing in this. The other thing is you will see in the back what I'm calling the bonus room back there. It, I have like stairs. I originally put in a basement because I was debating about doing like a nectar thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, but for the final version of this build, the basement is taken out. The extra like room that's back there is taken out. Uh, but you know, you can put a basement down there if you want to. There is a basement for the main house. I also did not decorate that. Just lots of extras that I left for you guys to enjoy. And part of this is just because of how I'm going to do my own gameplay. And what I'm planning on doing is my sim will be buying this or my sims will be buying this it's going to be a couple and I have a mod that allows me to do a mortgage so I have to make payments that's how they're going to be buying this house so once I'm ready to play it I'm plopping this down on a much bigger lot because they are going to have a farm and I'm going to have them pull a mortgage to do it. So I thought it would be fun. As I said, it's a mod. I'm not sure the name of it, but I will hunt that down and link it below. And I like using it. I've used it occasionally and, and it's fun. It makes it a little more realistic, at least in my mind. But you really do want to watch and do a longer term on the loan. I did one where it was a short term and it was, they bought a pizza place. You probably have heard of me talk about the pizza place before. Yeah. I was struggling to pay this loan because I'm like, oh, I can get it paid off quickly. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> so... Heads up if you decide to use that mod. All right, so as you can see, still working on the interior. I do mess around a little bit with this floor plane up here. Okay, quite a bit, actually. I want to say it took me, I know it took me three days just to do the floor plan. Probably working anywhere from two to three hours a day. It was crazy. I really didn't think I was going to get this done in time for, you know, posting today. You know, if you're watching it when I posted it. But I managed to, to do it. I am recording this a few days before. And the good news is next week video, next week's video is already done. I just have to edit and record <laughs> So, so that's helpful. I still have to work on the Fantasy Village some more. That probably won't be up until sometime in September. So, I'm hoping anyway. It looks like I'll be doing some overtime work for the next, I don't know, month and a half. So... We'll see what happens. So, yeah. So, sorry if I sound distracted. My cat is throwing a fit. 
Yes, the orange one that I showed you last week, I believe. He's he's over here throwing a fit. He's not a happy cat right now. Mostly because I've been working all day and then I immediately started recording this. So I have been sitting at a computer for 12 and a half hours now. <laughs> so he's not happy. We will snuggle later. But anyway. So here, all the landscaping, by the way, is included in the shell. So, yeah, I haven't even uploaded. This isn't, you know, I haven't finished what's going to get uploaded as the shell version of this house. I'm almost there, I promise. So I wanted to keep it not too crazy, but... Because for my gameplay, I was planning, like, maybe a cute little shop in the back. I wanted to have a nice garden path that went back here. Now, what would also be cool is, like I said, a workshop. There's a whole bunch of different options you could do with that, that back room. And if you would like, share it with me on social media. I am building Sims YT on threads and Instagram. So I'd love to see your stuff. And, you know, leave a comment here too. I check YouTube more than I check the others. I need to be better about it. I honestly have not posted on Instagram in a while and I need to, I need to, I need to share all my builds. So yeah. I'm going to work on that, okay? <laughs> but if you really want me to see it, at least, like, post and give me your uh, your Instagram name or whatever. So, all right. So, back to this build now that I'm in the, uh, the fun part of decorating. So, this is a custom cabinet set. And this is the third time I have tried building this kitchen with a custom cabinet set. I couldn't figure it out and I cut out the other two once I realized how long this video was going to be. It was going to be almost a two-hour video if I left a few things in. So that was the, as I said, the other reason I really didn't do the upstairs. I also thought it'd be fun to, you know, throw the upstairs as your family grew, right? This is overall, I believe, a six-bedroom, four-bath house, as I have it. I think it's four-bath, but I'm pretty sure it's six bedrooms and three or four baths. So, there's, you know, there's plenty of growing room here. But, again, for the custom content, I will be linking to as much as possible. Some of this clutter might disappear. I'm going to get all the big stuff for sure. I, yeah, I, I really wish that report would work, but my luck works for other people. just won't work for me. The other thing with the custom content I noticed is there is a weird shadow with the fridge. It didn't matter if I used a game fridge or a custom content fridge, but... It always created this weird shadow. So that's why that's there. Also, that fridge is one of my favorites. And I should have looked at some of these custom content names before I started recording, but I didn't. But it will be listed below because that one is one I use all the time. I absolutely love that um, you can kind of put drawings on it and make it really cool. So, yeah. I also struggled with the flooring. So I ended up going with just this base game tile. That being said, I did download a tile that I had every intention of putting in here. But I don't think I remembered to in the video. So I'm going to leave it base game tile. And I might throw the picture up of what I wanted to put in. I yeah, I struggled 
so much with this kitchen and with building this in general. I've used custom content for a long time and I love it. But what I didn't realize is when I use custom content, if I can't find something I like, I shut down my game and I go look for it. But because I'm recording it, I didn't want to do that because I'm on a strict time crunch when I'm recording. So I think I edited most of my weird switching back and forth out so the video would make some sense. But in case it's in there, eventually you may see that I move from one to the other or something weird happens. It's literally because I went, I don't like any of the custom content I have. I'm going to get something else, but I have to do it after work. <laughs> so that that's kind of where that came into play. So I will say I had to do that with the living room. I didn't like any of the custom content sofas. And I knew I wanted to use custom content there. Same with the bedroom. I took that there too. So something I've learned. And another reason that my next few custom content builds will probably be smaller. But it, it's a learning experience, right? And, but it's nice though. And I really enjoyed building this because I had so many more options for things. And I just, it was nice to be like, you know, I don't like how that looks. I want something else. And to share that with you. As I said, I do that all the time in my own builds, but to be able to share it and let you guys see how that process works was kind of cool. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as we're about 20 minutes into this video. Uh, I did do a mix, as you can see. I have you know both custom content and game content in here. It was not my intent to do just a custom content build. That might be something I'll consider as a smaller build. Um, I might do that even next month, we'll see. I don't have any specific plans for the next custom content build. But if you have any ideas, leave a comment. Let me know. Also, for those who may not check the community tab, I do have a post up where I would love for you guys to comment as to what builds you would personally like in your game and what packs you would like used for those builds. I will eventually be doing a random drawing of the comments and creating some of those build requests. So if you're watching this and it is before, we'll say the end of July, 2024, put your comment in. Let me know what you want to see or would like in your game personally that you don't mind me also uploading, you know, for everybody else to use. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I build to build. So not everything is for my own gameplay. And I just thought it would be fun to give my wonderful viewers something for themselves. All right. Okay, so anyway, back to my build now that I've made that announcement. I wanted this patio to be like a garden oasis. They're farmers. They're plant people. This this needed to be almost a greenhouse field, but not a greenhouse. That, that's what I was going for here. And then I actually went out and found that cool chest table. It's a glass one. And again, I'll link to that as well for your custom content. As I said, I'm really thinking it'll be clutter that I miss. <laughs> so but I will try. I will try. All right. So I think I pulled off the greenhouse look feel for this build in this section. I also decided that I wanted the bathroom to come out onto this patio 
because then there's a really good way for anybody to kind of bring in, you know, the mud from the farm, you know, and be able to wash up without going through the rest of the house. I also realized that that is the only bathroom for the first level that isn't attached to a bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> I probably should have planned that out a little bit better. Originally, I was going to put a bathroom in the hallway next to the kitchen. Um, but even then, it should have it would have been a walk. So I think this worked out just fine. The other thing with the kitchen cabinetry here, I was trying to figure out a way to hide how the cabinetry was. I think eventually I just go back through and change the cabinets a little bit so that they're not the corner end pieces on the side that it's short and it lines up pretty well. And yeah, that is a problem. And some custom content creators have figured that out while others have not. So I chose one that had not, but it's okay. It still works out. And it still looks really good once I get it all switched around. Okay, so the other thing, custom content mixer there. It's supposed to be like a KitchenAid. And yeah, so I'll, I'll probably get that one because it stands out. But just kind of cluttering it up. I like a little bit of clutter. I wanted this to feel like a homey, lived-in kitchen. Also adding in the under-cabinet lighting that I like to use. I put these in temporarily, but I believe I replaced them later. I hope I did, because my intent was not to keep those, but I wanted, you know, things lit up. All right, now I'm just kind of cluttering this all up and getting this done. As I said, it seems like I've been working on this kitchen forever, but I did go back and forth in the kitchen dining, you know, sunroom area quite a bit before moving on to the living room. But it was a labor of love, and the kitchens usually do take quite a bit of time, especially larger ones. And this one has kind of a different layout. There's, you know, the uh, the sunroom kind of has that weird angle, all that stuff. But I liked it. It was a good challenge. And I think I pulled off making this look kind of homey and nice. All right, so the other piece of custom content that I absolutely love is this little stair thing that I'm playing with here. And I decided to take out that wall. Originally, I put it in to help with the paint so I didn't have to repaint the hallway. And when I decided to use this shelf under the stairs, I got rid of that, so... I think it's cute. I think it adds a little something to the home. Um, and it's a cute set. Again, I really should have looked at names. But if you watch my videos, you know I'm not good with that. I'm not good with names in real life, okay? <laughs> I'm good with faces. I can look at somebody and be like, I've met you before. But I have no idea what your name is. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right. So living room. Yay. I put in this awesome sectional sofa. I just love how it looks. Yeah. The painting above the fireplace is a TV. Just a heads up. And here, I, I love this wall paint. I use it in a lot of my custom content building. So part of the reason I had to go find a new sofa is I couldn't find a color that would work well with that paint. And I wanted it to be a similar color, if not, you know, almost exact. And I think this works. It's not exact, but I don't think it looks like 
you know, off, I guess is the word I'm going to use. So, and I also, again, this is modern farmhouse. So I didn't try to do like country cozy style. This is a young couple that's moving in. They're going to start a farm and eventually a family, but they're not, you know, necessarily country people they're you know they are but they aren't that makes sense kind of what i'm thinking right now the girl that'll be moving into this is single she has not met the man she will be moving in with i kind of jumped the gun on this farmhouse because i wanted to do it <laughs> but what I'm kind of thinking storyline wise is trying to find her, you know, a country boy. We're, we're going to go that route. She's not necessarily a city girl. She's currently living in Brindleton Bay. So, and she just aged up from a teenager. So, yeah, she's got a little bit to go before I move her into this house. But I am kind of holding off on doing too much until the new pack comes out because that'll be fun to play with so that's you know not the reason I started this build but um, the reason I'm not really playing that file right now and it stinks because I really want to play it and that's okay though it's okay yeah and a sneak peek for next week's build I did a romantic lounge build to celebrate the new pack. Um, of course, it has you know nothing from the pack because I don't have it, and it won't be out for you know another month and a half of you know as of recording this. But I think I pulled off a pretty good a good vibe with it. So make sure to look for that next week. But, yeah, I I also want to say I decorated this as if I was living in this house. So, if you're ever curious about how I would decorate my house, this is it. Like, this is one way. I need four or five houses because I love all types of design. I need a farmhouse. I need a modern house. I need an industrial loft. <laughs> so, I just like all types. I also like very classic. So I need some, you know. Yeah, like, you know, the Hamptons, that type of thing. <laughs> but yeah, so but this would be how I would design a farmhouse if I lived in one. So you know, just some insight into me and how I think. I do want to say I absolutely love the painting I put up on the wall. I know it's a little more realistic than Max's mat. Um, I, I had to have it. It is on Curse Forge. If you ever want to go hunt it down, should be in the list below too. But... I love it, and I think it just worked well in this room. And there's also a cat, because I have cats. And, you know, cats have to be in here, and my sim will have a cat. Or five. I'm, I'm not sure how many. There may be a few cats, okay? I'm going to live vicariously through this sim and have 50 billion cats. Because I can only have two. I live in an apartment. So, yeah. All right, the other thing I really love is this little clock. Um, I just think it's a really cool accent. And I need to use more of that in my belts. It's just cute. The other thing I didn't point out earlier, but you can see that I went through and redid all of the interior doors and archways. That's also another custom content. I love it. It matches the columns that are outside pretty well and I think it works great I also love these doors 
I just, I don't know. I had fun using all this fun stuff that I don't normally get to with you guys. And it makes me happy to share that part of my building with you all. All right. So I am struggling quite a bit with a rug over here. I put this one down and I believe I replace it later on with something else. That was a, I think I'm going to go and hunt down a different custom content rug. Uh, but I can't remember if I actually found one or not. We'll find out if I do it before the video ends. Wow. There are a few things I do want to say that I fixed after the build was done. Nothing major, just a few little things that I noticed going through the build, taking pictures. I did get curtains put up in every room. You might notice that later on that I forgot curtains again. I need to put a little sticky on my computer saying curtains, curtains, curtains are important. Remember, <laughs> it's honestly a lot of my builds. I don't put curtains in on when I build for myself. Just depends. I mean, they usually go in the living room, bedrooms. But the kitchen and everything, I usually don't. Whatever. All right. So here you can see me playing with beds. Um, I had no idea what bed I wanted to use in here. And I played and played with these, trying to figure out what I liked, what I didn't like. And I really wanted to use one of these... Uh, funny beds, but you can see there, I left that in on purpose. So that is where I went and said, heck with it. I actually had a little bit of time and was able to go in and go, never mind. I'm going to find a different bed. And I found this one and I really liked it. The problem was trying to find wallpaper matched. It took forever, guys. Forever. I paused this. And kept changing the wallpaper. Eventually, I settled. And, uh, <laughs> and we're, you know, we'll get to it. What I decide to use. But you could see, I just keep going. And I left this in for a reason. Because I saw a post the other day on, I think it might have been Facebook. Maybe it was, maybe it was Threads. I can't remember. But... It was somebody just saying, you know, I changed my wallpaper 20 times. It takes me, you know, 45 minutes to pick a wallpaper in my build. It takes me 45 minutes sometimes too. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. So the other thing is I kept playing with this bed because I couldn't figure out a good wallpaper for it. So I finally figured, figured out one, put it back to this bed. And this is the bed that I stick with. I, I really like it. It's different. It's very me. It would be a bed set I would buy. Like, I would buy that comforter set easily. All right. So, even after playing with all that wallpaper, you can see I still am going. <laughs> And yeah, I'm not even sure where it ends. When the bedroom is done is when it ends. I mean, that's that's what I'm going with. Actually, I think this is the wallpaper I stick with. So, but maybe not. You could see I tried adding some curtains in the kitchen. Didn't like them. And then this is where I go to put this painting up and go, no, I don't like it above the bed. But what am I going to put under it over here? And I decided a desk. Because... This build does have an office. However, that's the farm office. And I thought it'd just be nice to have a desk that, you know, was for them. Just to, you know, sit at and do things at. I'm not sure business-wise if I'm going to have, like, a little tiny office in that bonus room area. But... At least I have a desk here. So I think, you know, 
I think it just makes it a little bit cozier. And I did need something to fill that space because they do have closets. They didn't need a dresser. <laughs> so having that fill that space is great. All right, so this is another custom content bookshelf. I use it in the office as well. And I absolutely love these books. They just, everything just fits really well on the shelf and looks really good. And I wanted it to have a few books, but I didn't want it to be a bookshelf where it's just all books. It's a bedroom. There's other things in there. So that was kind of my goal with that. And then over here, I'm just kind of trying to create kind of a cozy corner. Um, figuring out what chairs I can use. I go through a few. A couple of different lamps. I really thought, oh, maybe a rocking chair. So when they have a baby, they have a rocking chair. And I went, no, no, we're going to do something fun for this young couple. And... So I thought, oh, maybe this chair. And I love this chair. Don't get me wrong. Love this chair. Didn't think it'd work right. So I decided to go with this one. And I think it looks cute. Let me know what you think of that chair. Because I love it. Okay. So closets. More custom content. Shelving. I love these shelves. There's just so many different options you can do with it. As you saw, you could make it corner you can you know there's a whole bunch of stuff I am not sure where all of the clothes came from I know there's a couple in there that are from the game uh, but custom content as well so it's a mix but this is his side the other one was her side and I really wish we had cowboy hats, and I debated about going and finding them, and I just forgot. So, I might be changing that when I go in there. Those, you know, baseball caps to cowboy hats. Just for fun. All right, and yeah, it's just pretty much cluttering up all this stuff. Sometimes I show this, sometimes I don't. I kind of wanted to show it in this one so you could see the process. Because, you know, I can take a little more time to do this stuff right now since I'm only doing the one video a week. I am at this point planning on going back in September to two a week. But if you like this more detailed building, let me know. Maybe we will just stick with one a week. But if you want two a week, I will do it. All right, so bathroom. Originally, this was going to be both the master and a hallway bath, and I changed my mind. So now it's just a nice big master bathroom, and I love how this thing turned out. I used a couple of custom content showers, and one thing... And that you're going to start seeing after this bathroom is it starts to look not quite as modern. And what my mindset was with this is that there was an older couple that you know, has lived on this farm, possibly for a few generations. And they didn't update a whole lot, but my sims will be coming in and updating things and they did some updating before they moved in which is why the bathroom's nice and updated and the kitchen's nice and updated so that's kind of where I'm going with this and I think I pulled off that feel pretty well it I wanted it to be a work in progress, which is why I also really didn't want to decorate upstairs right away. Now, that being said, when I do go to decorate upstairs, I might be throwing the rooms up on the gallery. So don't expect them anytime soon. But if that's something that you would like to see, make sure to get on the gallery and follow Building Sims YT. And you'll be able to see those. 
So the other thing with custom content is there's so many options. There's just so many options and I love it. But sometimes and a few times during this build, I had to look at myself and just go, okay, just do a base game. Just do something with the base game <laughs> because I would have spent so much time going through all of the custom content. And I have a lot, but I don't think I have that much. So it kind of worries me that there are people I know that have a lot more than I do. And I'm like, how do you even go through it? I would love to see some sort of way to organize it a little bit better. I, I am able to search for certain, you know, things, but not the same. I'd like to be able to, I don't know, organize it better, I guess. So you can see I'm playing with the sinks here. I always forget that some of these, you know, sinks don't allow you to slot. And I really should get in the habit of checking those before I'm like, yay, it's done. Let's clutter it. But that's why I had to change the sinks because I couldn't, I couldn't get anything to sit up there. Uh, but eventually I got, you know, I got what looked good still and I like it. I also absolutely love this cabinetry. I think this is one of my new favorites. I, I don't know. I just like the look of it. It's clean and simple. All right. So on to this will be the office, which is why it has its own doorway. When I upload this into another lot, I am planning on putting a set of stairs that leads right up to that door on the side there. I just couldn't fit them in this lot. So, you know, just an idea. If you're thinking you want to use this as a farm on a larger lot, you could put a set of stairs right there. I will be. All right. So office wise, again, this has not been updated. We're just going to say it's, you know what? We, we have limited funds to do all this and we're only going to update kitchen bathroom for right now. And yeah, I think, I think I pulled off that look with, you know, you have the wallpaper that looks like it's not, you know, really updated and, you know, a lot of wood furniture that's supposed to look older. I still do love the office. I Yo, know, I'm saying I decorated it in kind of an older style, but it's still a cute build. I did struggle a little bit with the carpeting and everything, but I found this carpet and that inspired me to find a couple of chairs that were in like the blue color and kind of put a few blue accents in. Um, and I, I love it. I think, I think it just, you know, it, it screams grandma and grandpa to me. That's the, the goal I was going for. Because, you know, grandma and grandpa sold their house and moved to, you know, Jamaica. We're going to go with that one. That's my plan, right? I'm going to move to some Peruvian island somewhere when I'm ready to retire. Or maybe, you know, East Asia. I don't know. That'd be fun. All right. So, also, I struggled with what to decorate with. Because I like the idea of the barrels. Because I was still thinking of doing a nectar type thing. And I still might. I don't think it's going to be just like a nectar business. I'm almost picturing... I might end up doing almost like a general store, so it'd have a whole bunch of different stuff from the farm. It depends on how much I want to get my Sims involved in, you know, handiwork stuff along with farming. But 
with the ranch hand option now and all that, it, it could be possible to do something fun with that. So played with that door and as you can see, I think I just ended up putting the original door back in. I really wanted something else, but it just wasn't going to work. And I love that door. It's one of my favorites. It's a base game. It just looks good to me. All right. So here again, going with that kind of grandma and grandpa look. Oh. They decorated it, you know, maybe in the 70s, but it's not bad. You know, they, they had taste. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. This is supposed to be a guest room. Of course, you can make it whatever you want, but I have it set up as a guest room. It may eventually turn into like a nursery because going up and down stairs with infants would stink. But at the same time, it's kind of far away from the master bedroom. So I don't know. I didn't, you know, think about that as I was building. But that's okay. There's plenty of room in the master for the baby to sleep there. And yeah, that's probably how I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> we'll see. So anyway, I had a lot of fun decorating this. It... It came together faster than I thought it would, but at the same time, it really, it took some thought. So you'll see I'm playing with like curtains and everything else, and I just could not figure out what I wanted out of this bedroom, really, except for, you know, looking older, like not, you know, modern. At least as much as I could. And then I found these curtains and I love these. I think they just, they're just fun. It's a fun pattern and I really like them. So here, just trying to figure out like a wardrobe or shelving unit or something. Put over here to fill this space. And I finally settle on this. And we're going to say this is something that my Sims brought in because it's a little more modern. And, you know, just filling it up with odds and ends, that type of thing. Anything you think your guest would need. Uh, also wanted to get something over here. I was playing with shelving. It, I just could not figure out what I wanted to do with these walls. <laughs> I took some of this out too as well, but uh, left in a good amount of it. Uh, but I think this room does turn out very cute. And I mean, I wouldn't mind staying here, even though it's, you know, an older vibe. At least that's what I was going for, was like an older vibe. I hope I pulled it off. All right, so bathroom. Normally I don't show the bathrooms, but this one's big enough that, you know, I could do a few little things with it. And so I decided, I'm like, oh, well, we'll show this one. It came together really quick, so it's not, you know, not like I've added on a whole bunch of extra time with it. But I really liked the fact I had some room to play in here. So I added in some shelving and, you know, little, little things that you might find in a guest room. Or a guest bathroom. Just, you know, all the stuff anybody would need that was visiting. Now, that being said, I know I'm going by the fact that, you know, they have some money eventually. So we're just going to say they're they're providing for their, their guest. Maybe it's stuff they make on the farm, right? All right, so the other thing, small backyard, again, because my intent is to put this on a bigger lot, but I did want to create a full lot for this. 
So, you know, it has backyard and just a nice little area to relax and enjoy outside. I struggled though with what the heck to put out here because nothing was going to me. So I decided it needed some sort of a cover and then the bed needed a cover. Yeah, I found that and went, ooh, and put it everywhere. It was ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so anyway, back out here. And then I found this, and I thought this little, like, pergola thing was so cute. And so I shrunk the uh, deck area to fit it. And then I just kind of try and figure out a few things for it, and then... I had to pause to hunt down the top, you know, greenery there. But isn't that so cool? I absolutely love that. I wish the Sims team would provide us with a cover that would go on some of these, these pergolas. So I decided to, to put in a pool, mostly because if you do use this as a farm, house for a farm you don't really need the garden stuff but I did put a couple of garden beds in in case you're going to use it on not a farm <laughs> so so you have a couple of you know garden spots nothing too major it's a very simple backyard space and I didn't want it to be crazy so I wanted it to be you know kind of a relaxing nice space I used a little bit from the new pool pack or pool kit I should say and I think it turned out really cute so I did go through and add a box here for the storage area just to, I was gonna put in boxes and I left this in so you could see I was attempting to kind of show you what my thought was with this room but yeah it didn't work. I couldn't find the boxes. So now just putting stairs in and getting that all set. And we are almost done with this build. I I really think this will be cute. Um, yeah, you can see I have to redo the fencing because I forgot to keep it disconnected from the house. Build tip. Don't hook your fences up to the house if you're going to raise the foundation. There's your tip for the day. All right, so just adding a few little things and, of course, the terrain paint to make it look a little more realistic. And we are done. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this build with me. If you did, leave a comment below saying cat so I know you reached the end of it. All right. I'm going to let you guys go to check out the pictures, and I will be right back. everyone i hope you enjoyed my first custom content build i had so much fun doing it and we'll be doing another one next month so not sure what i'm doing yet but if you have ideas let me know all right i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you next week bye now <laughs>